Hi friends, today our topic is on facial palsy. This is the most important concept not only for exam but also for clinical practice. Before coming into the actual crux of facial palsy, I would like to mention some generalized points for upper motor neuron and lower motor neuron. What are upper motor neurons? The intracranial portion of the nerve proximal to nucleus are upper motor, neur upper motor neurons. See friends, again I am repeating what are upper motor neurons. Portion of nerves which are proximal to nucleus are described as upper motor neurons. Now coming to what are lower motor neurons. Portion of nerve or neuron from its nucleus forms the lower motor neuron. That is, it involves the nucleus and the peripheral nerve. See friends, these two definitions are very important to be understood. Now, I am going deep into the upper motor neurons. See, upper motor neurons crosses the midline before entering the nucleus. So, there will be opposite side involvement for upper motor neuron lesions. Whereas, lower motor neuron, there is no crossing. So, there is ipsilateral side involvement for lower motor neuron lesions. See friends, again I am repeating these two important statements. Listen carefully. Upper motor neuron crosses the midline before entering the nucleus. So, there will be opposite side involvement for upper motor neuron lesions. Whereas, for lower motor neurons, there is no crossing. So, there is ipsilateral side involvement for lower motor neuron lesions. Now, before coming to facial nerve palsy, you guys should know about facial nucleus. See, facial nucleus is some, somewhat different. See, facial nucleus is divided into upper half and lower half. Facial nucleus is divided into upper half and lower half. Upper half of the nucleus represents the upper part, upper part of the face. Lower half of the nucleus represents the lower, lower half of the face. Again, I am repeating. Facial nucleus is divided into upper half and lower half. Upper half represents upper half of the face and lower half represents lower half of the face. Friends, now I will give you I will give you one statement which is most frequently asked in exams that is in upper motor neural lesions of the facial nerve there will be contralateral facial involvement with sparing of upper part of the face. See friends, again I am repeating the Statement, in upper motor neuron lesion of the facial nerve, there will be contralateral involvement of the face with sparing of the upper half. See, in upper motor lesion of the facial nerve, there is contralateral involvement of the face with sparing of the upper half. Now I am going to explain you guys this statement. Why contralateral part of the face is involved? Because as it is upper motor neuron, it crosses the midline. So, contralateral side of the face is involved. Now, I am going to explain why the upper part of the face is spared in upper motor neuron lesion of the facial nerve. See, the upper half of the nucleus is getting bilateral cortical representation. I am going to show you. See, this is the upper half of the nucleus. For this, Opposite uh, cortical representation is coming. This is uh, possible for all upper motor neurons. But here the uh, twist is, it is also getting the ipsilateral cortical representation. So, the upper half of the nucleus is getting bilateral cortical representation. Whereas, lower half of the nucleus is getting the opposite contralateral motor representation. Again, I am repeating, the upper half of the nucleus is getting bilateral cortical representation. Whereas, lower half of the nucleus is getting contralateral cortical representation. Now, how I will explain this, why upper part of the face is a spade? See, in case of UMN lesion, this is the UMN lesion. In case of UMN lesion, there is a effect of both upper half and lower half. So, lower half is paralyzed. Lower half of the contralateral face is paralyzed. Then why is upper half is spared? See, as the nucleus is getting the ipsilateral cortical representation, upper half of the face is spared. Friends, I am again explaining this. Please listen carefully. This is the upper motor neuron. This is the lesion for the upper motor neuron. So, there will be contralateral uh, facial paralysis. 
but why this upper part of the face is paired this is because the upper half of the nucleus is getting bicortical representation that is it is getting the uh, innervation from both the cortex that is contralateral as well as the ipsilateral this is the reason why there is upper uh, contralateral facial paralysis with sparing of the upper half now friends i am coming to lower motor neuron lesion this is lower motor neuron lesion the lower motor neuron there is no crossing so ipsilateral face is involved so in upper motor neuron lesion facial nerve there will be contralateral facial involvement with sparing of the upper part whereas in lower motor neuron lesion there will be ipsilateral involvement of the whole uh, whole face see again i am uh, i am telling the differences for both upper motor neuron lesion and the lower motor neuron lesions in upper motor neuron lesion of the facial nerve there is contralateral facial paralysis with upper half sparing the difference for upper motor neuron lesion and lower motor neuron lesion are the upper motor neuron lesion there is contralateral involvement since crossing is present and upper half of the face is spared since bicortical representation is present in lower motor neuron there is ipsilateral paralysis of the face that is ipsilateral face is involved but both the upper and lower half of the face are involved since there is only contralateral since only one representation is present now what are the common causes for upper motor neuron lesions see friends i'm i'm showing this causes important causes this is cerebrovascular accident tumors and demyelination cerebrovascular accident tumors and demyelination common causes for the upper motor neuron lesion what happens with upper motor neuron lesions in upper motor neuron lesions facial paralysis occurs contralaterally with sparing of the upper half see this is the upper motor neuron lesion there occurs the contralateral facial paralysis with sparing of the upper half this is very important statement to be noted this is how i explain now now coming to the most important causes of the lower motor neuron the common causes for the lower motor neuron lesions are bell's palsy pontine vascular accidents herpes infection this herpes infection is also called as ramsay hunt syndrome and cp angle lesions what is the cp angle lesions cerebral lobe pontine angle lesions like example acoustic neuromas parotid tumor uh, again i am repeating the causes for the lower motor neuron lesions this is bell's palsy pontine vascular accidents herpes infection cerebral lobe pontine angle lesions and parotid tumors what happens to the face that is facial paralysis in lower motor neuron lesions in lower motor neuron lesions the ipsilateral face is involved what are those involvements ipsilateral face is involved there will be absence of frowning there will be absence of frowning the patient is not able to close his eyes unable to close his ipsilateral eye and there will be flattening of the nasolabial fold ipsilateral flattening of the nasolabial fold and there will be drooping of the angle of mouth ipsilateral side and there will be deviation of mouth to the opposite side so again i am repeating what does the facial paralysis features see in lower motor neuron lesion ipsilateral face is involved see this is the lesion and the ipsilateral side of the face is involved there will be absence of frowning and inability to close the ipsilateral eye flattening of the nasolabial folds ipsilaterally drooping of the angle of mouth deviation of mouth to opposite side c what is the difference for uh, upper motor neuron lesion and lower motor neuron lesion again i am telling in upper motor neuron lesions there will be contralateral involvement of the face see this is the uh, upper motor neuron involved the affected face is in the contralateral side but full face is not involved upper half of his upper, upper half of the face is spared only lower half of the face is involved whereas in lower motor neuron lesion ipsilateral uh, face is involved there will be absence of frowning inability to close the eyes flattening of the nasolabial folds drooping of the angle of mouth and deviation to the deviation of mouth to the opposite side these are the most important differences for the upper motor neuron lesions and the lower motor neuron lesions these are all the important causes for upper motor neuron lesions these are cerebrovascular accidents tumors and demyelination these are the important causes for the upper motor neuron lesions and the important causes for the lower motor neuron lesions are bell's palsy pontine vascular accidents herpes infection cerebropontine angle and parotid tumor now
friends now i'm going to out of the box that is i'm going to tell you some uh, some important points about cranial nerves see what are the nerves which are coming from midbrain they are cranial nerve 3 and 4 what are the nerves that are coming from pons that is 5 6 7 8 fifth fifth cranial nerve trigeminal abducens facial and auditory what are the nerves that are coming from the medulla they are 9 10 11 12 12 glossopharyngeal vagus spinal accessory and hypoglossal you should uh, you should remember two nerves are coming from midbrain four nerves from pons four nerves from medulla so seventh uh, seventh cranial nerve nucleus is present in pons this is the facial and nucleus please remember these points friends the topic about facial nerve its cores and branches are taken in the next video so this is about facial nerve for any queries and topics to be uploaded please let me know in the comment section and do not forget to like share and subscribe and again the important point of today's video is that the upper motor neuron lesion there is contralateral facial paresis with sparing of the upper half and the another important point is in lower motor neuron lesion ipsilateral face is involved with upper half and involvement of the upper half and the lower half and please don't forget to sh like share and subscribe thank you